So you do have good uh, range of dorsiflexion. Orthopedist Ignacio Ponsetti first met Ross Snyder when Ross was just 10 days old. Ross was born with severely deformed club feet. Most physicians correct club feet with surgery. As with any surgery, though, scarring can occur. Also, most patients who have their club feet surgically corrected have reduced range of motion in their foot and ankle and are more prone to developing arthritis in their feet. However, Dr. Ponsetti treated Ross Snyder with a pioneering non-surgical technique. In this film made when Ross was a baby, Dr. Ponsetti manipulates the ankles and foot bones, guiding them toward the proper alignment. That's uh, our approach here is to try to use this golden period of uh, this first two or three months when the ligaments are softer and when you can manipulate the foot much easier. The treatment involves a series of manipulations and casts. As Ross grew older, he wore open shoes with a bar in between to hold his feet in the proper position. As this video demonstrates, though, he was able to walk as normally as any child. The back joint here is well, very well developed. Perhaps even more importantly, the yeah. good results have proved to be long-lasting. I'm a pharmacist now, and some days I, I stand for 12 hours at a time, and my feet sometimes get tired, but I don't attribute that to the club foot. For recreational activities, I like to jog. Uh, it's good for the heart and it helps relieve stress. I don't feel that I have any pain in my feet due to the, due to the jogging or the club feet. Dr. Ponsetti is writing a textbook about the non-surgical treatment of congenital club feet. He says this approach offers an important alternative to surgery. I'm Eileen Wittstead.